Okay, so uh, welcome back to my little series on the Pico display on the Pi Pico. And uh, I'm going to write a different game today, but I'm going to base what I write on um, uh, the what we learned about getting to this Bubble Pop game that I made. So uh, today I'm going to write a variation of a game that I've written on lots of different uh, systems, which is, uh, I'm going to call it Jungle Lander. It used to be called Blitz, but I feel uncomfortable writing the same premise as Blitz, Blitz at the moment. But uh, what uh, Jungle Lander is going to be is uh, you have a plane and you need to uh, land it uh, in a jungle, a jungle of sustainable trees, of course. And uh, there's no landing strip, so you have to bomb or missile the trees away um, to uh, let them regrow really again and to be able to land. So that's the idea of uh, my game. And uh, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take really the first bit of um, my bubble pop game. And uh, I've, I've prepared a bit of this in advance just so that I don't get mixed up. But uh, here's my new jungle lander. So I've just taken this first of bubble pop there. And I've put it into into here to begin with. So uh, just uh, import my random and my Pico display drivers. And uh, this, if you remember, set up the screen with and turned it on. And one gotcha that I had early on when I was setting up a game from scratch, I couldn't see anything on the screen. And it's because I hadn't turned the backlight on. So don't forget to do that. Now, to make things a little bit easier this time, uh, something that was recommended in another one is that you can save a colour. So if you remember when we created a colour, we created a pen with a colour like that. So that was white RGB. So um, what I've done is I've called that bright white, set that into a variable or an assignment, however you want to call it. And uh, I'm going to do the same for some other colours. So let's just paste that in there again. So normal white is going to be remember i liked 155 155 155 and black let's do we know black is zero 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 so that's set up my um colors so i can refer to those colors later on and not have to remember the numbers or type the numbers in all right now previously um i said that i would be able to put some things into little procedures now i'm going to write some procedures here just to make the code later on simple simpler so i've got this procedure for drawing my plane my airplane so at the moment i'm just saying bit like the the base and the bat in my other programs I've just got a rectangle there uh, and I'm saying when I want to in the main loop of the game I'm going to call draw plane with the x and y position of it but actually this time I want to change it into more like a sprite now this this isn't a sprite as such um, because the sprites have collision detectors there's a um a thing for the main version of Python called uh, Pi Game, I think, which has sprites in it. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to manually create them, really. But if we wanted two planes, then it's nice having a, an option to draw them automatically. So at the moment, that's just a block. So I don't really want a block for the plane, a white a white block. In fact, let's uh, let's just uh, make sure I set a pen first. So a display set pen and i'm going to have this red all right so i'm imagining this is a Qantas plane it's got a red tail fin and white body so uh, at the moment if i do that that's just going to do a white block so the first thing i want to do let's do the um so first of all let's do the tail fin all right so it's the x y at the moment this is drawing a big square 20 long 10 high um, so let's think about how would I do that. So I'm just going to say four and five. So four wide and five high. And so that should draw me a red square at the start of the X and Y position. All right. So now let's copy that again. And a little bit further down the screen, I'm going to draw the body of it. So the body of the plane is just going to be white. 
and the display, um, how, how long is the plane going to be? That's going to be 18 and to make the tail fin stick out a little bit I'm just going to add two to the um, X so it doesn't start directly underneath the tail fin and the Y is on the next line down or the next set of lines down so that's five. This will make sense when I actually draw the plane. All right, so that's sort of a, a, a red tail fin and underneath it another rectangle, which is a white thing. And then just very quickly, um, I'm going to blank out a little bit at the top of that white rectangle just to make the front of the, the, the plane pointy. So, whoops, black. And so this is going to be on that line X plus 18, which is at the, the end. X plus 18, it's still five and it's just going to be a little two by two block, two by two. So hopefully I'll show a little um, um, close up here of the plane so that you can see uh, what that's going to draw. Of course, that's not drawing it yet. That's just the little procedure to draw it. I've defined that procedure there. All right, now in my forest there are going to be trees. So um, I need to have trees. So the trees are going to be a similar thing, um, but I've got an X position and H for the height of the tree. So this isn't really a Y. So this is the height off the ground of the tree. All right, now the ground is going to be the bottom of the screen. So the ground isn't going to be naught naught because this uh, screen is that different orientation again. So the trees are going to go along the bottom. So uh, I'm just going to uh, type this out and then I'll explain it. X equals X times 10. And whoops, X equals X times 10 and height equals height times 10. All right, so basically I'm going to have a number of trees and to save working this out and putting these multiplications in, because each tree is going to be 10 wide and in multiples of 10 pixels high, I'm just going to use a simple bit for that. And then I'm going to just multiply it there when I'm actually using it, when I'm actually drawing it. So display, in fact, let's grab it from here. Um, so this time it's going to be my brown color. This is going to be the trunk of the tree. So display set pen brown and the rectangle is going to be X plus three because the trunk is going to be slightly smaller than the um, top of the tree. Not going to be a very good looking tree, by the way. It's more like going to be a green lollipop. Um, so height minus H. This bit's a bit weird four and h so that's the height so we pass in that height so it's 10 times the height we pass in the trunk width is four it moves in a little bit from the actual x y position and the height minus h that's because the height of the screen i'm having to calculate back up again and then draw the box down from there so that's the um trunk of the tree and then i need to draw the little lollipop at the top of the tree uh, as a separate one and so this is going to be guess what this is going to be this is going to be set pen green and um, display rectangle x so this is going to be exactly at the top of x and it's going to be height minus h again and the block's going to be a 10 by 10 block could use a circle for this if i wanted but i'm not going to all right, so that's the drawing of the tree. And of course, before I've got these three classes, which I use, uh, I say I don't really need a class for a plane, but I like doing that. And I don't need a, a class for the missile either, but I like doing that because it makes sense when you're reading the code. And uh, the tree, obviously I'm drawing several trees and I'm keeping a record of each tree's height for the gameplay. So I'm gonna need one specifically for the tree. So this is a, uh, the start of the classes from the uh, bubble pop i've just called them tree plane and missile uh plane is going to be very similar to the um the base 
or the bat and the missile is going to be pretty much exactly the same so um, what are we going to do with the tree so all the tree is going to have it's going to have its x coordinate and it's going to have the tree height so self tree height equals tree height okay now of course this isn't drawing it this is just to keep a record of the data for the tree then the plane plane is going to be a little bit different so the plane is going to have an x and it's also going to have a y um, but it's also going to have two extra things which are going to be set automatically when you create a new plane so self flying so this checks whether the plane is flying or landed so when you create a new plane it is already flying and i'm also going to have another one which so flying as opposed to landing i'm going to have another one which is self crashed so if it crashes i can't move it anymore so i'm going to do false so to begin with the plane's flying and not crashed very positive isn't it oh well um it's games for you in it and then the missile what we're going to do with the missile well exactly the same as the other one really we're going to have um well i don't want self x equals y i want self x equals x and y equals y and then very much like this we're going to have an active just like the uh um the, well the missile in the other one so active all right so um when we create the missile to start with it's false so it's not whoops, it's not active and we create a new missile all right and then we def we define these as we as we have done so First of all, plane starts at naught. So we've defined them. Now we created an instance of the plane. The plane starts at naught, naught. And the missile doesn't really start at naught, naught. But I'm going to start it there anyway. It's, we will start at the position of the plane, but we'll leave it there and i've got to have somewhere to put the trees so jungle seems appropriate equals um an empty array okay now previously every time i've said i need to put the reset in a definition so i'm going to have a reset thing called plant jungle which is going to plant the trees this is the bit that will put the set of trees work out random heights for them and put them into this jungle tab here. I'm going to count the position I am across the screen, the tree I'm doing. So start with, I'm going to have x equals naught. For i in range naught 25. So this is my loop through the trees. Jungle append to add it to the jungle class. Then tree, the tree is going to have the x position as opposed to an exposition um, and then a random height so random dot rand int 1 to 10 so random height between 1 and 10 um, and then let's get these back right I think it's something like and for this one I then have to just increment the x x plus equals one all right so sorry this has been quite boring so far you've seen nothing on the screen but we're going to get there in a minute so that's set that bit if you remember that plant jungle is actually just a this bit is actually just a procedure it's not running yet so i've got to actually run it and the reason i've put it as a procedure is because when i do the game reset later on i want to recall this so that i don't have to repeat that code so let's just plant the jungle so that should uh, create those um create all of my trees for me and let's straight away now let's just um set the jungle up so i'm going to say well let's let's do this all right so when when plane is flying all right so we've got a thing so this is our main loop that the whoops this is our main loop that the plane is flying so plane flying true while plane flying set it black and clear the screen that's what we used to 
then we're going to draw a tree in the drum in the jungle so for each tree in the jungle draw the tree so i've written that already so that's going to call that for each one then i've got draw the plane and then some other bits as well so hopefully i can now just run this okay error line 95 what have i missed ah <laughs> y equals y plus five y plus five all right try again all right so here you finally get to see it so there are my random trees we can tell it's random if i run it again get a different set of trees got my little plane at the top that's what i've ever uh, zoomed in you'll have seen the little plane it's got its little red tail fin and its white body and a little pointy nose because of that little black block so uh there's my there's my tree and that's it so now let's uh start doing start uh doing something interesting so while plane flying we've got that bit that's fine that draws the jungle then we've got to draw the plane. Then we've got to move the plane. So we've done something similar to this before. So moving the plane should be quite easy. So really to move the plane, we're going to want something like plane x equals x plus 1. So if I run that, the plane should go flying off. Oh, no, if I've done it right. Let's try again. Oh, what have I done wrong now? Plane X. Oh, it's because I've got an in, unexpected indent. All right, so that moves the plane, but of course, when it gets to the edge of the screen, it just disappears. So what we want to do is to say, so to move the plane. So first of all, let's check that the plane's not crashed. So if, of course it hasn't at the moment, if plane crashed, but we want to we want to say not plane crashed. So if plane is flying, it not plane crashed. Now I need my indent and add the X plus one. But I only want to increment that if it hasn't got to the edge of the screen yet. So I'll say if plane, if plane X is smaller than width, width again being that constant at the top that we set up the width of the screen here. If plane is less than the width, then increment it. Let's try that. And it should work. What have I done wrong now? 92 plane X. Oh, I've missed out my second width. All right. So if it's not there, I don't think this will this will disappear off the edge of the screen. All right. So if it's let's put an else in. And if it has got to the edge of the screen, then I'm going to set the Y position of the plane. And let's move it down relatively quickly. So the Y position is five. And then I'm going to reset the X position back to zero. I think that's that's OK. Let's try that. So it gets to the edge of the screen now. Ping. Right. It comes. And you might just be able to notice it's going down the screen each time. All right, so we have to say also what happens if it lands. So we've got to put a check in there just to check it hasn't reached the edge of the screen because if it gets, to, sorry, the bottom of the screen, because if it gets to the bottom of the screen, we want it to land, we want it to stop. At the moment, it's a clever plane that uh, can fly through trees. Well, it's flying in front of the trees, I suppose, isn't it? You watch that while I work on this extra bit of code. So I think here I need to add another if statement, else if plane y is less than the height of the screen and the plane is 10 tall so the height of the, the screen less 10 so if that's the case it's less than that then increment it and again else plane flying equals false and that is a successful end game because up here we're saying while well, plane flying is true so that would stop it now when it gets to the bottom of the screen. We're not running this, so you won't see it stop when it gets to the bottom of the screen at the moment on the display. That's the plane movement. After we've drawn the plane there, let's just check whether it hasn't hit the tree. So we've got the move the, the plane bit there and let's let's do the collision detection on the tree. 
All right, now this is one of those things it took me a long time to work out. So let's just uh, type this. Um, again, it's looking for the front of the plane, which isn't at XY. It's at X plus 20, Y plus 20, really. So we've got to work that out. So you'll see that. So if plane X position plus 20 for the width of the track plane equals equals, which is equals as opposed to the assignment equals which stores the variable value in the variable tree x remember each tree is 10 width is 10 wide so tree x times 10 and plane y plus 10 because the depth of the the, the plane is 10 Plane x plus 10 equals equals the height minus this particular tree that we're flying over tree or that we've just drawn drawn tree height times 10. All right, so that's the collision. Hopefully if they've got that right, if the collision's there, then plane crashed equals true which will stop the plane moving and display set pen and bright white which is what we used for the explosions previously bright white and display circle plane x comma plane y and make it a radius of 10 which should be our crash routine now all right so it should draw that bright white circle and then draw the plane behind it so let's try that if that's right okay line 91 what have i done wrong ah oh, missed out the all right so i've got some high trees now so let's uh just speed this up a second till it hits the tree there you go excellent so uh, the plane has crashed. I did think of making the plane fall, but no, nah, not that sort of game. All right, so that's that bit done. Now we've got to do the missile. So if missile is active, so first of all, let's uh, let's do the fire missile. So um, that's button A, which is going to be here to fire the missile. So uh, if missile active, whoops, no, let's, uh, not that. So if deploy, display is pressed, if the missile isn't already active, then we've done this before. If it's not already active, set the pen. Let's grab a pen from up here. No, oh, no, I'm not doing that bit, am I? I'm not drawing it here. I'm just uh, turning it on. So we've got to do missile active equals true but we also need to set the position of the missile so missile so x equals plane x plus five which will move it along a little bit uh, so it will fall from the middle of the plane and then we've got to get the y of the plane underneath it so uh, let's just grab that again paste it down there missile y equals plane y and it's uh, from the bottom of the plane and the plane is 10 um, deep so all right so that should that should fire the missile but we've got to uh, draw the missile as well so let's uh, so when we push that now it makes the missile active and draw and move the missile display set pen white seen that before and then the missile is going to be a rectangle. Let's grab a rectangle from up here somewhere. Oh, I don't draw them there now, do I? Grab the rectangle from all the way up there. All right, back here. Set pen white. Display rectangle. And the rectangle is going to be missile X, missile Y. So missile X and missile Y. And it's going to be... Uh, a five by five square so that should draw the missile immediately after we draw the missile we need to move it but we need to make sure that it's not reached the edge of the screen as well so if the bottom of the screen if missile 
y is smaller than the height of the screen then missile y plus equals three so missile will move slightly faster than the plane moves in the y direction uh, of course else so if it's at the edge of the screen then reset the missile so missile active equals false so i'm hoping now if i run that that's going to give me oh there you go <laughs> oops that's given me many missiles so what have i missed out there oh <laughs> so if missile active i've got that code commented out all right so let's try that again that's it so it's not dropping the missile when i press the a button there you go i think my uh, comments are confusing me so let's try that i've got both of them commented out haven't i so there there you go all right so so i've got the plane flying i've got the trees drawing i've got the missile now i've just got to do the collision detection on the missile so to check whether the missile that i'm dropping is you know i'm going to make the missile bright white i think just so you can see where it is that's better all right so all i've got to do now is check whether the missile has hit the top of the tree and if it hits the top of the tree make the tree a bit smaller so it doesn't get rid of the entire tree at once and then that'll be the game so um let's go to so, so while the plane is flying for the tree in the jungle so i've got to check this here i've got to check it the bit that crashes it this is where because this is on each individual tree so for each individual tree i've got to check the position of the missile in relation to that specific tree so it's not looking at the screen it's just looking at the data to do this so this is a slightly complicated bit again so if missile active we've done that before if missile active if missile x is greater or equal because we're not on a the miss the the missile might not be exactly on a position of x times 10 where the tree is and so we have to say greater than or equal to this tree x times 10 and check the y as well so the y is going to be the, pretty much the same so missile Oh no, sorry. No, this is missile X again. So the, that's to check whether it's at one edge between the one edge of the tree and the other edge of the tree. This is so missile X less than or equal to uh, tree X plus one and times all of that by 10, which is why I've got the double brackets and then take one away from that because I don't want it to be at the start of the following tree. So a bit complicated that which is why i worked it out in advance as well so then check the y so if if missile y is greater than or equal to the tree tree height and times it by 10 because the trees are all a factor of 10 so if that's the case then uh, this is going to be uh, the missiles hit the tree so let's stop the missile missile active equals false let's reduce the tree height so tree tree height uh, minus equals five so knock five off the height of the tree then do an explosion so uh, let's grab the explosion from here again display set bright white and then this time i want to do missile x missile y and radius of 10 so hopefully this should now work if you're enjoying these please uh, like the video and please um, subscribe if you've not done already again i appreciate the subscriptions it's doing a lot for my channel so thank you i hope you're finding this interesting so let's try and drop a bomb <laughs> what have i done there missile isn't defined you saw that didn't you um when i typed that missile try again 
All right, there we go. All right, so that's taking out something of the trees. Not super accurate, but makes the game more fun. What else could you do? There's a definite bug in the game that if you hold down the key, it just will wipe out the things and make the uh, explosion a bit funny. So there's a bug there which we need to work out. I'll, I'll upload my code to the GitHub. Thank you for suggesting the GitHub. Somebody did about um, putting the code up that I'm using. So uh, thank you for that. Yeah, if you, I'd like you to try and suggest in the comments how you might stop um, you just holding down that key and it just wiping out the forest below because we don't want complete deforestation, do we? Let's just check that this still does crash when it gets down to that next tree. But the final thing we need to do is a reset game. So if we crash, we can reset and make a new forest if only it was right in real life. So replant jungle, how are we going to do that? Well, it's going to be relatively easy to set this up now because we, we set the, um, the uh, initialization of the jungle, the planting the jungle, we set that up as a uh, procedure. We define that so we don't have to copy it. So first of all, let's empty the jungle again. Just make sure that the jungle get rid of the data that's already in the jungle. So set the jungle to that again. Then we need to set the plane to a new plane again. So which will make it fly in and stop it being crashed. Set plane, not, not. And now we've got to plant the jungle. So where was that plant jungle? Let's just grab that again, plant jungle. So this uh, little game, this jungle lander, has introduced you to um, storing colours, storing pens in colour variables. We've done a lot of uh, procedures. I'm going to call them procedures. Uh, by the way, the things I'm saying, I'm pretty much new to Python. I'm just using technology. For, I'm using language from other programming languages that I've used. So I'm not a Python expert. This is all just hacking the code and working out how that how I can use it by looking at other Python programs I've got as well. So we've defined things in advance. We've uh, made little sprites. Remember in my bubble pop, I said, how could I make space invaders? And maybe this is the way that you could do the space invaders instead of the bubbles is instead of having a draw plane, you could have draw alien and you could uh, work out the moves in relation to X and Y to display a little alien. So that's the way that we could do that. Trees are the same thing. And uh, also this reset the game, uh, having this as a procedure, which I then call, which means that later on in the code, if we want to call it again, it's much more simple. So let's just try that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, so this should be able to uh, get rid of the trees and hopefully that resets the jungle or decides to land somewhere else. This gives me an idea for a game of Scramble. Remember Scramble? Hmm. Thanks for watching. Hope this is useful.